was <laughs> such an amazing way to start. Thank you so much for this great hey. preview. <laughs> Hello, sunshine. Hello, how are you? How's everybody doing? Everybody, we are waiting for you. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. What is it? Uh, yeah, it's just a busy weekend. So we've been all uh, running around doing stuff for Hall of Fame and WrestleMania and stuff. And I yeah. know. I know, I know. So, few questions. If you're hurrying, yeah. don't worry. I know that you're super busy. And ah, it's all good. Yeah. Well, today, today, uh, today, more than ever, like the, the weekend, you know, yeah. today we got the big Intercontinental Championship match. But as far as the weekend, it's mostly just chilling and watching. But today, yeah, today's pretty busy. Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I have to say that thanks for your time and thanks for everything because we were waiting for you since long time. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, okay, maybe I need to forget about the, the other questions that I had because you're almost like 20 or 20 years that you started since you started in the industry. Yeah. And I have to say congratulations. You really deserve this. Um, but tell me, because last week it was... My God, it was fantastic, but at the same time, it was really, really hard to you because uh, with Umberto. Yeah. So, how do you feel about that situation? Uh, yeah, you know, you have those two guys, Umberto and Angel, who are cousins, real legit cousins. Um, so, they're, of course, going to have each other's backs. They're going to be there for one another. And I, like I said last week, I was like, it's nice to see that they, the cousins like to stick together and they like to, to watch each other's back, and that's fine. But now... I got them in a triple threat match where they can't really watch each other's backs because if they watch each other's backs, they might lose. You know what I mean? So, but, um, so now I've got them either way. And even if they are watching each other's backs, that's fine. I'll take them on both at once. But, um, you know, me and Umberto were friends at one point, but uh, I guess now obviously he's chosen family over that, which is fine. But uh, not even that's going to stop me from keeping this. That's not, it's just not going to happen. Okay, I need to translate to the people. It would be fast, okay? Yeah, yeah please. Perfect. A ver, gente, pues ahorita estábamos hablando, nos vamos a olvidar acerca de cómo todas estas preguntas que nos aventamos en el brunch, porque tiene mucha prisa. Entonces yo le pregunté que qué onda, cómo había sido la onda, o sea, lo que pasó con Humberto. Y él me dijo, mira, nos, yo pensé que éramos amigos, ahora nos está enseñando que tiene ahí su nombre Ricochet. Eh, yo pensé que éramos amigos, pero con Ángel la verdad es que nunca se sabe. Así que... Bueno, pues ya escogió él, a pesar de que tienen ese, eh, la triple amenaza. Vamos a ver de qué cueras salen, de qué corre, de cómo los cueros salen más correas, algo así se dice. Eh, muy bien. So, um, tell me about WrestleMania. I know that you're super excited, right? Yeah, of course. I'm uh, always excited for WrestleMania. Even I'd be more excited if I was on it, but that's okay. Uh, this year we got so many amazing matches. I mean, I love seeing Stone Cold. He's been my favorite for one of my favorites for so long now. So just to be able to see Stone Cold in the ring again is going to be cool. Um, you're getting to see Rey Mysterio and Dominic perform against The Miz and Logan. You're getting to see all these amazing matches. But uh, so that's cool. And it's always just the electricity that's going on in the entire arena. The electricity is just out of this world. So that's the, the most exciting part of it. Ok, a ver, pues ahorita estábamos platicando acerca de cómo está viviendo WrestleMania y me dijo, a pesar de que a mí me hubiera encantado estar ahí, pues que hay grandes matches, por ejemplo, a mí me encantaría ver a Stone Cold, me encantaría también ahora ya ver qué va a pasar con Rey Misterio, así que, bueno, él va a estar ahí, nosotros vamos a estar también ahí con él. Um, and this is the last question, yeah. because it's a front show, so we have to talk about food and those kind of I things. I love food. <laughs> yeah, me too. So how are you preparing um, or how do you prepare to this season, to WrestleMania season? Eating which kind of things you eat or oh, train? I kind of eat the same things all the time. I I say mostly it's like white white rice, uh, grilled chicken, ground turkey, ground beef. I do like asparagus or broccoli or some green beans or something always that have a vegetable in there as well. That's mostly what I eat, but I, after this weekend, it's for sure going to be like a pizza or a burger or something, for sure. Okay. But I mostly stick to the same. I'm kind of boring when it comes to my eating. Again, just white rice, grilled chicken. Uh, yeah, I really don't, just because it's kind of a habit form now. It's like, a, of course, I love different foods, 
but I kind of just have a habit of, you know, in the morning I have eggs, maybe some egg whites, scrambled, turkey bacon. I might have a piece of toast, okay. maybe a couple pieces of toast. I always have orange juice. I'm not a really big coffee drinker. I, I like coffee. I just don't crave it like a lot of people crave it. Yeah. But I, I love orange juice. That's kind of my morning drink is an orange juice. Okay. Muy bien. Pues él, ya saben que tenemos, no podremos cerrar esta entrevista sin antes preguntarle qué onda, qué es lo que comes. Eh, y si se está preparando de alguna forma especial y me dijo no. Yo como lo mismo, de que pollito asado, los espárragos, me gusta mucho el arroz blanco, espárragos, exacto. Eh, esa es su forma y ahorita pues a veces se avienta una pizza y ya está. So, um, the last step of this interview uh, is fun from question, questions from fans. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah, please. Perfect. A ver, pues vámonos con sus preguntas. This one, the first one, is uh, what do you think, Ricochet versus Finn Balor at WrestleMania? I mean, I think Ricochet versus Finn Balor anywhere in the world would be great, uh, especially at WrestleMania, especially right now while he's the U.S. champ, I'm the Intercontinental champ. I think, I think that match would be great anywhere, but especially right now when we're both kind of at the top of our game, it would be awesome. Maybe another unification. Maybe if we if, if if he can hold it till Survivor Series, maybe I'll see him at Survivor Series. Oh my God! Because I plan well, on having it till Survivor Series at least. Miren, muy bien. Pues dice que por qué no fin valor cuando sea y como sea. Le encantaría tener otro match. Okay, and another another one. Come on, a ver. Um, and da, 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 da. oh, everybody's asking about your oh my God, your body. What is your diet? But I mentioned. Uh, yeah. So this Chicken one. and rice. Um, could you beat Roman Reigns in a fight? Absolutely. I'm not, I don't even have to think about it. I could beat anybody in a fight. I've beaten. I've also been. I've had, I've lost my fair share, but I've won my fair share. I've beat. I've beat Drew McIntyre. I've beat Bobby Lashley. I've pinned Braun Strowman. I've pinned Baron Corbin. I've pinned The Miz. I've pinned all these guys. So. uh I, as much as I have my losses, I have my victories up there as well. Muy bien. And pues, if I got in the ring with Roman Reigns, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Of course, it's not going to be easy. Nothing's mm -hmm. easy, especially when you're in there with the longest reigning in the modern era, like champion of in Roman Reigns. But I'm definitely, he's going to feel the fight for sure. Okay. Pues bueno, ahorita lo que dice es que mira, si yo me venté todos al plato, yo me venté a Bobby Lashley, yo me venté a Doom Mankantar, ¿Qué estoy esperando? O sea, Roman Reigns básicamente que va a ser una estrellita más de su colección, ¿ok? Perfecto. A ver. So, this is the last one. If you were in a match for any title, who would uh, it be against? I would have to say maybe like Shawn Michaels when he had the uh, the Winged Eagle title, because I think that's like my favorite title and Shawn Michaels is an amazing talent around like, I guess around like, what, 97 something, 98, Shawn Michaels, I think, what was WrestleMania 15? Okay, yes. I forgot what, oh, not 15, but 14. I forgot what year 14 was. Okay. But around that time, yeah, with Shawn Michaels for the Winged Eagle, Winged Eagle title, I think. Yeah. Orale. Muy bien. Pues ya está, Shawn Michaels en el WrestleMania 14, más o menos. Por ese título seguiría mm -hmm. mi, mi querido Ricochet. Okay. And this is the last step of this amazing interview. Let's imagine, let's suppose that you um, you are in WrestleMania and uh, WrestleMania against Finn Balor, and you got those titles, two titles. Yeah. And you say like, okay, I need a party. Ketali, you are my party organizer. Okay, Ricochet, which are the four items that I cannot uh, forget to buy? Um, so it'd be after WrestleMania, so I'm going to be hungry. So pizzas all around. Um, again, I, I don't really drink too much. So I guess we could have some, like some Sprite or some, maybe some Coke Zero because I don't, that's, I don't really do too much drinking alcohol. Okay. So we would have food, drinks. We would have to have some type of music to dance to everybody. I like Everyone's going to have to jump on the dance floor for sure. Okay. Um, music, pizza, 
something to drink, soda. That's what I, that's my like, because I mostly drink water. So okay. If, if I'm not um, drinking water, I'm going to get some soda. I'm trying to think four things and maybe some, I don't know, some. Chocolate. Chocolates, please. Oh, I love chocolate. Any type of candy, chocolate. That chocolate is great. That's Any it. Candy or chocolate. Yeah, maybe That's I was going to say, I was only going to say gummy bears because any type of candy is great. Love. I, I love this. I love it. I love them. I love them. This would be my fourth thing. This and then the United States Championship. <laughs> Those would be my four things, I guess. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Well, Ricochet, it's supposed that we have a lot of questions, but thank you so much for your time. No problem. And um, really, oh, maybe thanks. next time, you know, you should know something. El brunch is tu casa. Yeah. Okay? Like, mi casa es tu casa, el brunch es tu casa. Ah, I got you. Yeah, always, yes. <laughs> I appreciate it. Next time, maybe I'll have, I will have the United States. We'll see. Please. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ricochet. And see you, ma'am, in Howdy. a couple of hours. Yes, thank you so much, guys. Bye. Ciao, ciao.